Hello and welcome. A man stood at a metro station in Washington DC and started to play the violin. It was a cold January morning. He played six classical pieces for about 43 minutes. During that time, since it was rush hour, it was calculated that thousands of people went through the station, most of them on their way to work. In 43 minutes, only seven people stopped what they were doing to hang around and paid attention to performance, at least for a minute. Only 27 out of 1097 people gave money, most of them on the run, for a total of $32.17. When he finished playing and silence took over, no one noticed it, no one applauded, nor was there any recognition. No one knew this but the violinist was Joshua Bell one of the best classical musicians in the world. He played one of the most intricate pieces ever written with a violin worth $3.5 million. Three days before his playing in the subway, Joshua Bell was sold out at a theater in Boston and the seats averaged at $100 each. Joshua Bell playing incognito in the metro station was organized by the Washington Post as a part of social experiment about perception taste and priorities of people. Which brings us to philosophical questions like what is beauty? Is it a measurable fact or merely an opinion? Or is it a little bit of each colored by the immediate state of mind of the observer? Multiple theories have been put forth to explain this social experiment. Stereotype theory is one of them. A stereotype is a fixed overgeneralized belief about particular group or class of people. Our human world is complex with different races, cultures, groups and many other factors. The use of stereotypes is a major way in which we simplify or in other words categorize our social world since they reduce the amount of processing that is thinking we have to do when we meet a new person or face a new situation. So, when we see and hear someone playing violin in space adjacent to a subway, we quickly downgrade that information or in other words, our brain has subconsciously stereotyped that musician as just another person playing music for money in a public place. We think in terms of the categories we create from our experiences. Those categories clarify the world for us, but they also oversimplify it. At some point, those natural oversimplifications cross the line into stereotypes. We can't think without using our categories, which makes it difficult to know when our categories make it hard rather than helping our ability to make sense of things. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down. Yeah, no friends of mine, no friends of mine around